adjustable uh, cable support. And uh, what we're going to do is a couple circles in different locations, and then we'll trim these circles out to make the picture uh, complete. We begin on this side here with a uh, two-point circle. So I'm going to go here and choose two-point. I'm going to start at this location here, and I'm going to go to my top location here. Next, I'm going to do a uh, center radius circle. So I'm going to click here for center radius. I'm going to choose the midpoint again. Uh, my radius for this particular circle is uh, 0 0.38. All right. I'm going to move further down the uh, line here to this location with a two-point circle. So I choose two-point again. I go from this location to this location. Next, I come down a little further. I do the same on this end. Finally, uh, I'm going to do a center radius circle starting at this location here. And I'm going to just drop it down to the end of the line on this point here to form that part of the shape. So right now, I have uh, a few circles already done. Um, and all it requires is a little bit of trimming. So to do that, we go to the trim button. I press enter, and we're going to trim the parts of the circle we do not need, like this location here, this part here, this part here, as well as uh, this part, and here. If for some reason you skip a line or you miss it, you cannot trim something that's uh, left alone like that. So to fix that, you're going to type the letter R, press enter, and that's to erase, press enter again, and delete while you're still trimming. Uh, again, uh, sometimes you will miss points like that. So I'm going to stop the trim here because I need parts of the circle for another uh, uh, circle type in this location here. So that's why I cut it off instead of completing the rest of the rim. And I'm going to remove this part here. All right, so our next part will be to draw some larger circles that would start at this particular center point and reach all the way to the top. Now, I already have a arc here that's at a raise of 7. And uh, here will be our beginning location for the curve on this side uh, where we have a radius of 1. So uh, we go to our center radius. We use this center point as our clicking location, and we type 1 for the radius and that should hit right there on the arrow then there's another circle that goes here where it has a radius of 0.38 so we go back to the circle command we click the center point 0.38 at this location for the radius all right down on this end we have another circle that shares that same radius so I click the center point here and all I'm gonna do is press enter because it has the same um, has the same um, radius there Point thirty-eight. Uh, finally, we had to draw uh, four more circles that are very large that will uh, complete the rest of this shape here. So I'm going to go with the center radius option again, use this center point as my uh, center location, and I'm going to click at the bottom part of the circle right here. Okay, and this kind of begins the curve at this location. All right, I go back to my center and radius circle. I use the same uh, center point location, and I'm going to the next circle, which is there, and click that bottom location. And that starts the inside um, section there of the uh, shape. Again, I'm going back to my center points, going to the top of the small circle for that location, and then, again, I'm going back to do my final one at the top of the large circle. Again, I stick to this line here, this construction line, as a, as a guide for um, selecting my points. All right, so with that already been done, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish it out with a tangent tangent radius uh, for this location for the inside curve. So I'm going to use this white line as my option. And I'm going to click the inside curve. 
and my radius is right there it's 1.62 and you type that in you press enter and it forms a circle at this location and then over here we do the same thing again a tangent tangent radius circle where we click this curve here we click this curve and we type in 0.75 for the radius that helps that part of the shape now we can do some trimming when we go to trim I press enter and again I'm gonna just trim out the parts that are closest to my intersection my first trim I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna trim out this little part there uh, I'm gonna cut off right here at this location same thing on this side get close cut that part off and then here do the same okay this circle that's in the inside again that needs to go away so we trim this part out that and we get the circle the smaller one get rid of that right there at that location we come on further down uh, this part of the circle is to be removed we come to this location get real close make sure you get that part of the circle and the same thing on this side uh, we get the inside circle too like that and then over here we get rid of again a lot of the circle on this side we go ahead and just remove this complete circle here uh, we get rid of this part here again basically everything that does not belong uh, for the most part I have clicked uh, every part that's attached to my circle so now I'm going to hit the R button press enter while I'm trimming and I'm going to select the circles that I do not need all the circles that I don't need as a part of the drawing and again I should have four for the most part yeah and I can press enter they all disappear and again you can still see my shape uh, this last part I just need to trim out have a complete adjustable table support 